rocks, different manifolds. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that, uh, that's it. Cheap little Darno really uh, told the truth, you know. <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, you're done. <laughs> All right. Yeah, good question and answer. No, let me have that microphone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that is a mystery. Uh, anybody have any questions or answers? Oh, wait, I got some. Yes. Let me give you right over there, Robin. Hold on one second. Ed, um, I think people would be interested to know or to find out what uh, chicken egg has to do with cams. This is my favorite story. <laughs> well, the chicken egg. One time we got to looking at a chicken egg's side view. Well, gee, that big bottom end looks like the base circle of a cam, and look, it goes up. I wonder if. Let's check these between centers uh, with an O-ring on each side and get the lift figures off that. <laughs> well, a lot of these are way out of pipe, but this one looks like it might run in an engine. Then again, I don't think it will. So we took all the figures off that chicken egg. The duration was way too long, and it was too slow opening and closing, which was the way Winfield made his cam. It would rev up way up on the lift was higher, and we called it 550 because uh, uh, the lift at the valve was 550. Bones, here it is. We made it on a Chevy cam. Take out the old cam, uh, which was made on uh, three arcs, uh, the old-fashioned way. And this won't run, but let's make sure it don't run. Put it in, and let's see if it's no good. And he comes back uh, two hours later. We just jumped 75 horsepower, <laughs> and we're up, way up at 8,500 RPM. And uh, holy smoke, we must be five years ahead of the market. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, and by the way, that was Robin uh, Pete Millar's daughter. cartoonist but he was also a drag racer so he really had a, a feel for the sport I mean he was in it so uh, I'd, I'd call Pete I'd say Pete look with the dirty trick they played on us what happened oh but Tom McEwen said figured if he could beat Chris Caramacini's in a match race uh, it would be a feather in his cap. So they arranged that. And uh, Keith Black built his engines and uh, they couldn't fire at, the, at this famous uh, publicity was on this race. Couldn't fire. And uh, Karamasini's had to make a single. Where was that drag ship? Uh, anyway, second round. Still can't fire. Scary sees makes another single. I says, call Pete and I says, could you make me a picture of a, a car running circles around another? <laughs> yeah, I could do it. And he did it. There was a camera, where there was, there was, and he got it all in there. There was Tom McEwen in this dragster with donkey ears coming out of it. <laughs> and uh, around, Kerry Mercedes was running around him and he even added in Keith Black with his uh, coat that he always wore, his cowboy hat. And he had a big cigarette lighter, a Zippo in front of him and was saying, keep it lit, keep it lit. <laughs> it was all in the, it was beautiful. So if someone, uh, uh, so that's the way we'd make fun of, uh, and, and this got to be, a, the cam war started from this. We'd make fun of an engine builder or a cam grinder, and they'd come back at us with another, a back and forth. And then uh, I always thought uh, Howard Johansson was mad at us, 
because we'd make fun of him and he'd make a little fun of us. And I went to his service and they told me, no, he wasn't mad. He thought this was good for business. <laughs> oh, really? He wasn't mad at me? I said, if I would have known that, I would have come over and we'd, we'd discuss it. Our strategy, we let him win this year, this month, and next week I'll win, and we'll orchestrate this. Uh, so, uh, any more questions? I mean, I hate to cut this gentleman off, I really do, but we have, yes. Real quickly, I would like to thank you guys so, so much, and several of you had mentioned our old tracks in California. We are down to nine tracks in California. And Donald here with the 41 Chevy and I are working on a campaign to bring a track back to Terminal Island. Oh, yeah. And we would like to invite all of you, and most especially you gentlemen, to please sign our petition to bring a track back to the Los Angeles We've got area. About 3,000 people that signed it already. So Yay. We so we have the Black 53 and the Black 41 right outside here, and they both have petitions on them. And I would bring this to you now, but I know we're trying to wrap it up. Okay. So thanks, everybody. And thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh, go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. You know, I'm going to do it because this is history. Right, right. Oh, yeah. uh, Garlitz is way back there in Florida, and I hear in the back window of the push car, push car, remember that? No, right. no big, big rig game. There's a Giovanoni cam box. That that rubbed me the wrong way. Why is that? I called down up. What's that Giovanni cam box doing in the back window of your push car? Oh, I put it there on purpose. Why? So you'd call me. <laughs> <laughs> it, it sure worked. It I'm hurt. calling you. He says, I heard that those guys in California are good more help than I am. I said, no, they blow up once in a while. We give them a little help. Or they, would you like money or something? Oh yeah, that would be great. Well, how much money would you want to advertise for one year? Giving us the rights for one year. He doesn't know. We don't know either. How about a thousand bucks, I say. Oh, that sounds great. Okay. Uh, and how about an option on one more year, a thousand? Good, good. We go to the lawyer. We heard about contracts. Oh, we're gonna do this right. And uh, the lawyer makes up the contract, and he signs it, and I sign it, give him a thousand bucks. And they come to the second year, I says, Don, do you mind if I make it 250 every quarter? It'll still be a thousand, okay, okay. Well, we were in the second year now. Uh, we're playing them up, and he's getting good out of it, and I'm getting good out of it. He's also getting attractive to other cab grinders who want to be on top and it's easier to get someone that's already on top uh, you know just switch cabs so uh, he he calls I've been trying to get the nerd to call you for four days why is that he says there's a five thousand dollar cashier's check sitting on my desk oh boy where's that from Giovanni, <laughs> and there's a promise of five more thousand ten, uh, six months from now. With that, I can buy two houses here in Florida and, and collect rent. Uh, I don't blame him for taking it, so he took it. He never got that extra, uh, extra five thousand because Giovanni went to the top so fast that. Uh, the thrill wore off. Well, anyway, I called the lawyer. I says, guess what? The contract's been broken. Uh, oh, good. He says, uh, how much money have you lost on account of this? I says, there's no way in knowing. My business goes up a little bit every year. He says, I says, you'd be guessing. There's no way in knowing. Well, how do you expect me to get you the money? You've got to prove losses. So, the next thing I know, he says, I settled the case. 
we don't have a case, so we settled it. Oh, good. What? What are we getting? He says a thousand dollars back. He says I'm. I collect five hundred is for me, <laughs> and the other five hundred is for some work you I did for you. So I got. I says from now on I'm using a handshake. <laughs> Anybody else?